Hello, Internet. Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Coliseum, not Emerald. In the last episode, we made it here to Pyrite Cave and started destroying every trainer that is in the way of me and Mirror B because I just want that guy's autograph so bad. That's why I'm doing this. You might be doing this to save that Plusle. I'm not. I couldn't care less about Plusle. It's a bad Pokemon. But what I do want is Mirror B's autograph more than anything else in the entire world. So yeah, that's what we're going to be doing this time, is getting Mirror B's autograph. Duking's finished! It's the dawning of Mirror B's time! You are like 15. Why are you working for a criminal syndicate? Whatever, Roller Boy Evit. Evat. Oh, Lotad and Lombre! We're moving up in the ranks! Why is the 15-year-old higher ranked than like the 40-year-olds in the basement? I guess it's technically on the same floor because we went up the stairs, but... Still. Whatever. Let's go. Well, I'm gonna cut this out because he doesn't have a shadow Pokemon, so whatever. Grr. Is Mirror B's age really going to arrive? No, you'll never learn his age. He's too fabulous to age at all. He's still one year old. You just can't tell. I shouldn't call him one year old if I'm going to continually call him attractive as well. I need to score points with Mirror B so I can get a promotion. Look, the way to score points with Mirror B is to just be fabulous, which clearly you, sir, Mr. Zalo, are not. Never mind, you have good taste in Pokemon with both of those, so Swablu and Lotad, I gotta admit, you might be on your way to a promotion at that rate. I don't know Mirror B's standards entirely, because a lot of the people in here are like, we're gonna get fired for losing, even though it's completely reasonable that they've lost. Anyway, he has a Shadow Pokemon, and unfortunately, again, it's not Lotad, it is Swablu. Swablu is not great, as it is, uh, but since it is level 33, only two levels after you are able to turn it into a not shadow Pokemon, it will evolve into Altaria. So I'm not even going to bother going over uh, Swablu really, other than the fact that it comes with Fly. There's not much great to say about it. Fly's not even really a great move in double battles because it's really easy to read and yeah, whatever. But Altaria is actually fantastic. It is a more defensive Pokémon for a flying type, but it is also part dragon type. And dragon is a type in Pokémon that is generally revered as being one of the most powerful overall. And because Altaria has a higher special attack stat than most dragon types, it is actually able to get pretty good advantage out of that type. Um... So as far as uh, dragon types go, Altaria isn't the best. There are definitely better ones, in fact there's a better one that we'll be seeing later in the game. But Altaria is able to do a lot of damage, it has amazing type coverage with the moves it can learn including Flamethrower, Ice Beam, Fire Blast, Thunderbolts, uh, it can learn Dragon Breath, I don't think Dragon Pulse is a move yet at this point in the series, but I can learn that later. So if you need a Dragon type soon, Swablu is not only your only choice, but one of the better ones you'll be getting. There are only two dragon types you can catch throughout the entire game, but Altaria is not bad at all. Anyway, I'm not personally going to be using Swablu because I have plans for my final team member already, and it is not something you can catch here. Okay, did it just hit Sing? Sing is a 55 accuracy move that puts Pokemon to sleep. It's really no better than any other sleeping move, and I'm really upset that I just got hit with it. Um, I'm just gonna start throwing balls at it, actually. I'm, Because I don't think I'm going to get like much more damage on it without knocking it out. Swablu itself is pretty frail. The reason I just went over Altaria is because of how soon uh, Swablu actually evolves from this point, so... Yeah. One... Two... Three... Okay, I can cut out the rest of this battle now, that's epic. Oh, another use of uh, the call command is that it can wake Pokemon up from sleep. That's why I called Awakenings useless earlier. So that Swablu basically did nothing. I'm sorry, Lombre, I love you.
No, my bright future! You don't have one, Zalo. I told you. Actually, I didn't. I said you had pretty good hope, like chances of getting a promotion. You ruined all my hopes of getting a promotion, Sob. Did you just call me a son of a bitch? Wow. People in this game are ruthless. I swear I saw just a platform with a bunch of item boxes on it, but apparently not. So once we head through here, we will be seeing the man himself, so I'm going to go back and heal. And then check if I was crazy in seeing a bunch of healing bo item, not healing items, item boxes. Because I feel like I might have been. I'm not crazy, those are healing bo- uh, Item boxes, why do I keep saying healing items? Or healing box, whatever I'm trying to say. It's sure not correct. Okay, I need to find out, the bo I need to get to the bottom of this. I might just be going crazy, but it's worth figuring out. Oh, nope, there's more trainers over here. Of course. So how does this line up? Oh, never mind. There's like a really long walkway here. Oh, and more trainers. Who could have thought? Hunter Me Lai. GYB Lai. I regret that. Two zigzagoons. You're totally ripping off my friend Willy from the outskirts sand. You should fight him. He'll show you how real zigzagoons fight. You zigzagoon. Wow! My confidence took a hit! Okay, Waluigi. What, I'm not gonna try to make a pun out of your name into Waluigi. Maybe, is it this place that's bad for my training? Probably. There's not a lot of wild Pokemon in this region. There's one Zinc. Okay. Cool. One Iron. Cooler. One Protein. Coolish. One Carbos. Coolest. Alright, that's actually really good. I, these items uh, permanently raise EVs for a stat by 10. Uh, also, I did take the Twisted Spoon off of Metatite and just forgot to give it to Espeon, so... Zinc raise a special offense. I'm going to go ahead and give that to... Um... I'll give that to Umbreon. Iron raises defense. I will go ahead and give that to Quagsire. Protein raises attack. I'm going to give that to... I'm going to save that for when I get my final team member. And Carbos raises speed. I'm going to give that to... It's between Espeon and Quillava. I'm going to give it to Quillava. Alright, I'm going to heal up my Pokemon again, and then we'll fight Mirror B. Finally. I will also fight the hunter that was up there that for some reason didn't fight upon sight uh, because are you kidding me oh there's even more okay oh my god i'm like shocked at how many trainers there are here i don't remember this like i don't remember like this type of person being here at all oh now isn't this something this is the edge of the word world good of you to come Cypher Peon. It's the first time we've heard that. I didn't even know she was here. I'm... I'm learning new things about this game now. Because this cave is way bigger than I thought it was. I know she doesn't have any Shadow Pokemon because I have 100% of the game before, but I am surprised she's even here at all. Okay, so after way too long not being at the boss room, we are now at the boss room.
Yeah, woot! It's about time, darlings. I'm so frightfully tired of waiting for you. Stop the music! Oh, you kept me waiting for so long, I decided to work up a little perspiration! <laughs> but my, you have been busy being naughty and messing up our plans. It was oh so close for everything we turn to turn out just right, just the way we hoped. But I can't salvage our plan by beating you, little man. And so, it's time for one last frantic dance before the grand finale. Let the music play! No, it's not a dream. This is his battle theme, and he is a Cypher Admin. He is going to lead with two Ludicolos. The first one is level 30. Water Grass type, Rain Dish for the ability, so it restore a little bit of HP whenever it is raining, knowing the moves Mega Drain, Water Gun, Fury Swipes, and Rain Dance. The other one he led with was his level 28. Water Grass type, Swift Swim for the ability, knowing the moves Razor Leaf, Ice Beam, Astonish, and Rain Dance. This one has Swim Swift for an ability, Swift Swim, so its speed will be doubled in the rain. This boss is no joke for this point in the game. He is extremely powerful with those Ludicolo because they are not only final evolutions, but they also uh, get additions in the rain and they all have rain dance. You're unlikely to be able to take out any of them in one hit at this point in the game. Unless you, like, went out of your way to train your Pokémon to be incredibly overleveled, and by that I mean specifically Rumbreon and Espeon because they're the only Pokémon you have at this point that can level up. This guy's no joke. He will destroy you if you are not prepared. I am just hoping I am able to take care of him relatively easily and relatively quickly. So, I don't know if I ever mentioned that the first time I ever saw this game at all, my mom was playing it. And, um, she made it to Mirror B, and she could not get past him, so she just gave up. And now I will frequently, uh, mention Ludicolo and Mirror B, and occasionally I will play this song for her. And, uh, she hates it, because she hates Mirror B, because he is the first time she saw a Pokémon trainer she could not beat in any Pokémon game, basically. Uh, so I think my older brother was the first one to ever beat this point in the game, and I was the first one in my family to beat the game in general. So, yeah. I don't think he's that hard. Uh, I think it's probably because my mom doesn't understand Pokemon as much as I do now. Because I know at the time I lost a Mirror B most of the time too. This is not an easy fight for kids at all. I know that for sure. Or for old ladies. My mom's not even that old. But you know how it is. There goes Ludicolo. Alright, one down. Four to go. <laughs> Poisoning that Ludicolo actually did help a lot. Next is his level 31. This is his strongest Ludicolo, Water Grass type, Rain Dish for the ability, knowing the moves Mega Drain, Leech Seed, Rain Dance, and Dive. That dive can actually be a little frustrating because it will go underwater and make it so you can't hit it for one turn. Uh, but other than that, I mean, it is his highest leveled, so it will take the most hits to take out, but other than that, it's not that threatening. That Leech Seed can be really annoying because it also has Rain Dance, so it will be restoring a lot of HP per turn, along with that Mega Drain, which is also restoring HP. But, yeah, this thing's main thing is tanking, and if you poison it with Toxic, it will go down in 8 turns no matter what, so... Hopefully this thing won't be alive for 8 turns, but at the very least I know it will go down before that. <laughs> Leech Seed on Espeon? Weird choice. I thought he'd go for Umbreon, because Umbreon's probably going to be on the field for longer, but okay. Is that the first damage Espeon has taken this entire battle? If it is, that's a little bit surprising. I'm going to go ahead and bite the level 28 one and Confusion the level 31. Just going for Razor Leaf. I didn't even know Ludicolo could learn Razor Leaf. Can Ludicolo learn Razor Leaf? Future Me, put it on screen, because I don't think I've ever seen a Ludicolo use Razor Leaf except for Mirror Bees. Oh, critical hit. Whoa! It's going down this turn no matter what. I think. I, I'm... 
It might. I don't know for a fact, actually, because Leech Seed might restore health before poison, and then I think it's also raining, so Rain Dish will also get its HP back up. Final Ludicolo is level 29, Water Grass type, Swiss them for the ability, knowing the moves Absorb, Water Gun, Astonish, and Rain Dance. Uh oh. Okay. Toxic might still knock. Oh, the rain stops, so that's helpful. Uh, Leech, Seed, Leech Seed did go before Toxic, though. Yeah, Toxic's not gonna take it out, but still, that was close. We almost took down his strongest Ludicolo in one turn. <laughs> uh, I'll just bite that Ludicolo and Confusion level 29 one. Leech Seed doesn't go away after the user faints. You have to switch out or let the Pokemon that has been Leech Seeded faint, but whatever. Should be fine. This will take it out. Surprised I'm faster. I guess it's not raining. And also it has rain dish, so. Ludicolo is not the fastest thing in the world, whatever. Mirabee's final Pokemon! Pseudo Wudo! Pseudo Wudo is level 35, rock type. It has either sturdy or rock head for an ability, holding a hard stone, so its rock slide is powered up. You know the new Shadow Rush, Block, Low Kick, and Rock Slide. And wouldn't you know it, it's a Shadow Pokemon, judging by the fact that it has Shadow Rush. Pseudo Wudo has an incredibly high defense stat and an okay attack stat, but other than that, all of its stats are pretty low and it can be taken out pretty easily by water and grass type moves. Uh, and the fact that it has a low speed isn't doing it any favors either. Unfortunately, that's all I can really say for Pseudo Wudo. While its attack stat is high and it does come with Rock Slide, which is just about the best rock type move in the series at this point, its power is almost always halved in this game just because of the fact that moves that hit both sides are uh, halved in double battles. So, yeah, even with Rock Slide, it's not going to be doing a ton of damage until you can get a replacement Rock type move that can only hit one Pokemon. You're dealing with a move that has its power halved every single time it's used. Uh, but I think I'm the first one to ever really complain about that in regards to Pseudo Wudo. I've never really seen anyone use it on their team in this game, but that's not to say it's bad at all. It just gets outclassed by Water and Grass types entirely. And because of its low speed, it's not able to do a ton of damage overall. There goes Espeon. And this one doesn't even have Rock Head. Sturdy is by far the worst ability in this generation just because of the fact that, um... That it only protects against specifically one-hit KO moves. In Generation 5, it actually starts protecting against moves in general where it can't be taken from full HP to uh, zero. It has to be taken from full to one. But... Sturdy hasn't been buffed yet at this point in the series, so it doesn't have that going for it. I'm gonna go ahead and use Thunder Wave. If you have a Pokemon confused and paralyzed, is unable to do anything. Well, that's not really true, but it has a 50% chance of being able to attack at all, and a 25% chance of hitting itself instead of attacking, so... Parafusion is a really good strategy, and I'm glad that I have Flappy and Umbreon on my team, because I can see myself using this a lot. Oh, and we can flinch it with Bite, which is making it like a... 65% chance that it doesn't do anything in a turn. That's pretty powerful. Uh, let's go Cotton Spore. I don't want to do too much to weaken it anymore because I'm afraid I'll knock it out. It is the strongest Pokemon we've seen so far in this journey because it's level 35, which is higher than anything else we've seen. I just said that. Whatever. But yeah, I'm, I'm nervous about knocking it out just because it's the first uh, boss shadow Pokemon we've seen. Unless you want to count true trees, which I don't. Um, okay, I have it pretty low. I think I'm going to start chucking balls. Uh, start with the Ultra Balls. Not start with, just only use the Ultra Balls. <laughs> uh, Pseudo Wudo is another Pokemon I was initially planning to use on my team that I just decided against later in planning. Uh, because, as I said, its speed being so low makes it completely outclassed by Water and Grass types. But... Uh, I have used it in this game before. It's not terrible, it's just not something I've used myself. And it got away, of course. I'm kind of hoping it'll be able to get through and use Shadow Rush once or twice, just so it can lower its own uh, HP a tiny bit more, because we did see that its recoil wasn't doing much during the bio. But we'll see. We'll keep lowering its speed, too, because the faster your Pokémon are, the more likely it is to be caught. Of course, it's going for low kick. I do love that attack animation. It looks really funny to me, just the way it runs at the Pokemon. Like, just a charge. It's not even pointing its head at it. It's just, like, running straight at it, like a f full body slam. It's really funny to me. Let's go 
Ultra Balls, Swedish Ultra Balls, and Great Balls again. Cotton Spore. So close. I agree, game. It was so close, too. Okay, so Sudowoo's speed is now, like, fully lowered since uh, Cotton Spore raise or lowers it by two stages and it can only go down by six total. So, this Sudowoodo is absurdly slow now. It's not doing a ton of damage overall. I mean, it, it is doing a lot of damage, actually, but... I'm gonna... Try secret power? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm gonna keep throwing balls at it. I, I just don't want to risk doing too much damage to it and having it knock itself out in either confusion or recoil. So, I guess I'm gonna switch out and just get more experience for one of my Pokémon. Uh, let's go Quagsire. Quagsire will definitely take the least damage from it overall. Nice! Alright, epic. I can't keep up with the tempo! Oh no, no! What a no-no! How, how, how dare you! Don't you dare think you'll get away with your latest outrage! One of these days, I will take great pleasure in kicking you about with my elegant steps. Oh, and I'm not giving up our Shadow Pokemon plan. Let's go! Escape! Naruto run out of there. I like his style. <laughs> Wes, did you hear those cries? It must be Pus pl Plusle. I think those cries came from behind that door. Pusle? Really? Come on, that's a little bit rude. That's like an insult. TM49. What is that? Snatch. We already got rid of that on Umbreon. You have to be kidding me. Rui, you're staying there. That's your punishment for calling it Puzzle. Ooh, item. Macho Brace. That uh, increases EXP yield for a Pokemon, but it also makes it so its speed is lowered in battle. Einfile. Einfile P is written on the file's cover. Purification of Pokemon. Shadow Pokemon are fighting machines created by closing the door to their hearts. The process of restoring a Shadow Pokemon back to its original state is known as purification. Exactly how a Shadow Pokemon is purified is unclear, but there appear to be several causes. We must eliminate reactions to these factors and create Shadow Pokemon that will never revert back to their original purified forms. Shadow Pokemon Lab Chief Ein. Plusle, you must have been burning alive under these lights. Wes, Plusle! <sighs> Wes, you're safe. Oh, and Plusle. Mirror B got away, but things will be back to normal here. Duking. Er, duking. I don't know what to say. Forget it, Silva. We're all unharmed. That's good enough. Even that Mirror B's been driven out thanks to Wes. Hmm? What's that, Plusle? Feeling hungry out of relief? <laughs> okay, Wes. Let's quit this moldy cavern and quick. Wes, we owe you a great deal. Sincerely, thank you. If you were even a bit later, Plusle could have been made a shadow Pokemon. That's horrible. I'm glad everything's fine, Papa. And Plusle, too. Hmm? What's the matter, Plusle? Oh, you wanna... Okay, I understand. Wes, could you take my Plusle with you? Plusle's saying it wants to help you too. Yes, yes, that's right. You can't let those criminals get away with it. That's amazing. We've got a cute and brave addition to our party. Wes, I'm counting on you. I intend to investigate the organization behind Mirror B. As soon as I discover anything, I'll be in touch. Which reminds me, Wes, I need your PDA number. Oh, that's the Pokemon Digital Assistant, or PDA for short. Wes, where's yours? You have to tell Duking your number so he can contact us. 
Perfect. I'll be in touch as soon as we discover anything. Deep beneath this town is another town that goes by the name The Under. Mirabee's mob may have been smuggling shadow Pokemon in from there. I'm going to do a little digging into the underground town of The Under. Big people, please be nice to P Plusle. Oh, I'm even calling it by that name now. So the thing about Plusle is you get it and it's level 13 and your Pokemon up to this point are around level 30 if not 35 with your Umbreon and Espeon and that pseudo Wudo. And that's bad enough as is. Not only that though, Plusle sucks. Ow, 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 ow. I'm sorry, Chief, but there's big news. You see, Chief, Mirabi and his underlings have left the town. Huh? Chief? You're not the Chief, I beg your pardon. I'm here, Johnson. That story isn't new. I've heard about it over and over already. Oh, oh Chief, there you are. You're such a kidder. <laughs> anyway, thanks for interrupting my bio, Johnson. So, Plusle... God, I wish it were better. So the thing is, Plusle would actually be really, really good in this game because of its ability if Minin was in this game as a Pokemon you can catch. However, there is no Minin in this game that you can catch. There were plans for a Minin to be catchable. There was a Shadow Minin somewhere in the game. And guess what? They removed it. You can never get a Minin at any point in this game, meaning Plusle is entirely useless. You get it at such a low level, its moves are so laughable, except for Helping Hand, which could be useful in some context, I'm not gonna lie. You don't get a mine in to power it up with plus, and overall, it just can't really do anything. If you want to train it up to match your team, go for it, but this is the only Pokemon in this game I'm gonna go out of my way to say is terrible and not something you should use. Even Pseudowoodo is a better option. <laughs> Other than that, though, that's it for today. We have cleared out a uh, pyrite town of Mirror Bean as thugs. We've captured every shadow Pokemon we can in this town. And we've gotten Plusle, who is cute, and I was planning on using him on my team. You can actually hear me say that in a bio in Pokemon Emerald. However, I will be using one of these in a future Let's Play. But then I realized, no, I'm a psychopath, and I'm trying to be like Pokemon Coliseum, where I feel like I have to be different in every way. Which I don't, clearly, because literally every Pokemon on my team other than Umbreon and Flaffy, Chugga Conroy, is used on his team in this game. So, clearly I'm not being original or new, so why should I start with using Plusle? Next time on Pokemon Coliseum, we will be heading out to see where else we can go and what else we can do. What, Mirror B left town? Are you kidding me? You can, you can tell us obvious lies, but we, aren't st we st are still not going to leave this safe place. Okay, buddy. It's not an obvious lie. You got one jail key here. Okay. Do I have to go into the menu to you? I don't know why I gave the whole outro when I'm doing this now, but okay. Whatever. Oh, they still aren't going to leave even though I opened the cell for them? Okay. Nobody in here. Hey, what? Oh, wow, thanks. You're letting us loose? Hey, I don't know or care who you are, but thanks. See ya. Get one TM46 in here, and this is Thief. Thief is a pretty good dark type move you can use to steal items from Pokemon, and it does decent damage too, but other than that, it's not great. Are you meaning to tell me that that man walked out of the cell into the lobby of the police station and the two police officers, one of whom was guarding the door to do not anything? That was a weird way to phrase that. It was bad sentence structure, whatever. They didn't do anything to stop him. He must have stolen their hearts with Thief. I see. Next time on Pokemon Coliseum, we'll be seeing what else we can do around Ore. See you guys then.